on darts. On the trench. Trying to go upstairs. Ow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, there's our way in. Break for it. You better move. It's okay, Ghostbusters. Just a level five thought form cross rip. The professionals are here. Everybody calmly at Make no sudden movements. What the? Wow. The buzz on dirt was a little too close for comfort. Uh oh. He didn't find what he was looking for on the bottom floors. No. Come on. We've got to get to the top floors. As Modius's hotline, 1965, there were only five production models of Teleco's red phone ever made. It's rumored that the phone only completed calls for those about to die. All full, going up. Uh, he uh, just passed gas. Catch the next one. Relax, sir. We handle foul <laughs> vapors all the time. <laughs> well, let's stay in for lunch, you said. Why leave the building, you said. It'll be quiet, you said. You know you're fired. You're right. I secretly knew our lives would be in danger and thought, hey, I'll make sure I trap Mark with me inside an elevator. Excuse us. <laughs> Stay with me, Haas. I'm sure there's more fun up ahead. Ghostbusters to the rescue! Oh, mix, huh? Could be trouble. Oh, thirsty. These are the creeps, huh? Got in here. Uh oh. No sudden movements. Okay. It sure got quiet all of a sudden. Uh, sudden movements. Sudden movements. Come on. Why did it get fired? Uh oh! Here they come! We quit the game leader now? I don't think so. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Watch out, they're smart! Yep, yeah, I'd say so. Oh no! That's a little too close. Hey, stop it. Don't let them circle behind you! Ah, I'm like that. My minion move. Up is working overtime, generating these little creeps. Oh yeah. And uh, we shall take them down, Dr. Pants. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Ah, oh there's the first artifact here. That's why it wants me to equip the PKE meter. Typical sugar high. Ew. 1926, American occultist John George Homan commissioned a scale model for a domestic center of evil, Black Low Rise of Tri, from the Shandor architectural firm. The model was completed, but Homan never returned to claim or pay for it. Speed it up there, Tiger. Yes, sir. Good shooting. Ah! Don't scream at me. Ready to be a hero? Oh 
got, what we got. Woo, that's what Beckman, we got. Come in, please. It's pandemonium up here. Chunks of the building missing everywhere. You are required at the site now. So happy to be in demand, but these sugar balls have got me nailed down. I can't get past them. They're disgusting. And they're unhealthy. Ah, uh, did I mention there's a spectacularly Whoa. beautiful lady in distress? I'll be right there. 1954, painted by the famed Madman of the Hague, Rimko de Groot. He is Groot. De Groot was infamous for supposedly using his own blood and the blood of others to construct his modernist masterpieces. This was later proven just a wild rumor, however. But that's cool. All right. Ah! No! Somebody help me! Easy now, miss. Just relax. No sudden movements. You're perfectly safe now. Sudden movements! Sudden movements! Ah, uh, he's covered in marshmallow. <laughs> oh, guess I better help him. Wow, check it out, kid. What a view, huh? Manhattan. I love it. It's okay. Dr. Venkman has you. You're fine now. You didn't spill your coffee, did you, Peter? Ray, I got coffee for all of us. But the little monster spilled it. And what's the story okay. with those things anyway? What? Was that a manifestation of ghosts? Or... Uh, yeah, probably. It just may be. Could be. Maybe. Would you like <laughs> to take the most direct route out of here, or the scenic route to its lady's choice? There's a stairwell over here. Let's go. Hmm. Thank you. Let's go this way. Yeah, Grace under pressure. I appreciate that. In a lady. Okay, Slugger, let's you and me do this quick and quiet, before Tubby Soft Squeeze out there figures out what we're up to. Right. I think Tubby Soft Squeeze has dog ears, Ray. I think so too. Let's go, let's go. Uh, we go up then, to the roof. How do you escape by going up? Well, help me. Huh? We'll get to 40, let me know. Move, move. We'll throw up. Running mechanic is a little weird. You can't aim too much when you're running. That way. Well, that's. Stay back. Why? 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Ow. Above you! Yep. Come on. A whole bunch of them. Wow! Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. And we go. Not very nice there, bud. And you go on the traps. On the right! Run! Run? I had a pretty nice ghost. Down, 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 down. I don't mean to alarm you, but we have lost sight of Stapa. Strong signal! Ooh. When she comes up. Ah, free s'mores for everybody from 54th Street to 5th Avenue. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. There he goes. The big evil sailor all the way to the... Oh, not quite. Didn't make it. Hey, Ray, say three guys the size of your finger knocked you off the side of a 30-story building and you had to climb all the way back up there to tear them apart. How, how mad would you be at those three little dinky types? I'd go with Mighty Pissed. Uh, okay, and throw in a sugar high, too. 
that giant blue and white toy man thing, or whatever, is still coming. It's climbing the building. I'm impressed with his agility, considering his complete lack of bones. <laughs> Super Slammer back on pulse and Ecto-1 is rolling. We're repositioning now. Can you hold the Stay Puft there for a few minutes? If by few you mean less than one, then sure, we can do that. Might want to hurry. Hey, did somebody tell you it was break time? No sweat, kid. We've got you. Well, as long as you're down there, would you see if you could knock off Mr. Sweetness? There, sunshine. Are you okay? You're all strapped in. We've got a good tight grip on your belt. Here he comes. The yeah. big daddy manifestation himself. A raging uh. of densely packed marshmallow. Oh boy. Melt him, chief. Give him full stream. I'm He's right, rookie. Your health insurance doesn't begin for another 89 days. Oh boy. More of those minis. How many can he generate? From 200,000 square feet of solid marshmallow. Mm -hmm. Nice. 60. Oh, not today, bud. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Those on guard should do the trick. Yeah. Is that his upset move? What do you think? Come on. Come on, come on, he looks sleepy. One more time, should do it. Uh, oh no, he's getting close. You got him on the rope, Flapper. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The last one so we can go home. Goodbye. You killed my dessert. <laughs> Scoreboard reads Ghostbusters 2. Yeah. Gozer the Gozerian 0. Looking like a real big leaguer out there, champ. Ray, Peter, we're in position. The trap is set. We're prepared to capture Stay Puff. Where is he? He's uh, that white puddle you're driving through? Yeah. Timing's off by just a hair, Egon, but we're glad the trap is working again. Yeah. I guess I owe you guys my life. She's clean. How do you feel? Pretty good. All extremely weird things considered. So far, just another screwed up day at the office. You know, I never forget a face mm. attached to all the rest of that. I think we met earlier at the Sedgwick Hotel. You gave me the sideshow chicken drop. My name's Alyssa. Dr. Alyssa Selwyn. And I am Dr. Peter Vankman. And that's Egon. It's uh, Ray, Winston, and uh, you met him. Uh-huh. The Ghostbusters. Me. Have you ever been involved in this type of quantum temporal rift event before? A quantum what? It's called arcing. A large pulse of psychic energy. Actually, yes. I was at the museum. A pulse of blue light surged through the building. And then I was standing outside a room on the 13th floor of an old hotel. The Sedgwick. The Sedgwick mm. doesn't have a 13th floor. It was pulling me like a magnet. I felt as though I was in a deep dream. I came to and ran over here. Here? It's a temporary office while I'm in town. I came to do some research after I woke up. We'd like you to come to our lab so we can run some brief tests and ask you more questions. Here's an easy one. Would you like to go out for Thai? Mexican? Oh, Pete. Japanese. Wow, Dr. Venkman. That time you almost went 45 seconds without saying something abrasive. Want to try for a whole minute next time? A doctor, Ooh. and a fiery one, too. Charming. So charming. I want a hat. All right, Doc, what we got? So you know so much about Gozer because... 
Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian She's a smart more specifically. Person. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. <laughs> but our getting stiffed on invites to opening night, just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Yes, it's true. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. <laughs> Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Woo! Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so. Fun fact. But I'm the person about the exhibit. voicing the mayor are is actually Bill Are you kidding? You can't mother. buy publicity like this. The guest curator of Brian the Gozer Wilmer. exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself? Please, tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Peck around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Mm -hmm. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. Six months? We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. Especially not from him. <laughs> Funny guy, Venkman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's why your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect Peck for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? PCOC, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Hmm. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clowns' operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now, just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So yeah, you need each buddy. other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, hmm. come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Venkman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, Damn I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that. It, yes, that's true. Hey. Uh. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun glider? Yes. I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Ray and I have been talking. And we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay. I'll take one for the team. Stay with Alyssa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. I'll be your personal protection. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. What he doesn't know can't hurt us. Yeah. Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting has staff at the New York Public Library scrambling <laughs> for answers. The Gray Lady. Let's get her for real this time. Go! Yep. Oh, what about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it going to go today? Um, this thing you guys have for the great lady borders on the wheel. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? Yeah. She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. Oh, and another thing. Pat calls and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. 
Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. Eventually.